crafty and new. I'm bringing you another Timu haul. This one's just a short haul. It's don't have very much in it. But it's got some exciting items that I think you're going to love. Some different items. Um, it's still a lot of paper crafting though. I'm still kind of building up my stash. As you can tell, I'm in a different area. It's just for today. It's not for every video. But this is actually my desk that I edit my videos and stuff on. But anyways, I'm not going to talk your ear off. Let's get um, into the haul. So I got some miniature paper clips. I decided I needed some. I didn't don't have any of these little ones. And I seen these and I like the variety of colors. So I got that's why I purchased these. And you get 300 in this. So yeah, There's five different colors. I hope you can see them. So you got gold, looks like rose gold, um, antique brass maybe, bronze and silver. Or maybe that's a black. That might... No, that's black. Okay, so you've got gold, rose gold, black, antique bronze, and silver. So you have five different colors in there. So that should be plenty to last me. I think 300 will get me through. Next item, I got some a circus scrapbook paper. Some circus journaling paper. I don't know. I just really like this theme and I want to try something with it. And that may be my, my first junk journal video I show you on here. I know I haven't posted any junk journal videos yet. I'm still a little timid about it. I'm, I mean, I'm not great, but I just enjoy doing it. So I don't know. If you guys really want to start seeing that, just let me know. Maybe I'll boost my confidence a little. Uh, I don't know why I'm so timid about the junk journal side of my crafting, but let me know if you want to see it. And I'll start posting some of it. But I thought these were so cute. So you've got the greatest show on earth, the clown show. Now, oh, I guess I should have put up a disclaimer. If you have a fear of clowns, skip us. Okay. And I know it's a real fear because I know some people that are like terrified of clowns. So I'm sorry if this is terrifying to you. I really am. So there's the clown show paper. And this is a little thicker. I really like the thickness of this. Oh, that's cute. What is, what is they, what do they call her? Like, I don't know. Tightrope specialist or... And then there's just some background papers. That one's cute. Oh, I really like this one. Looks like newspaper print. Oh my gosh, I love all of these. These are so cute. Really like that one. Oh, that's pretty. Sorry if you hear my dogs. They're fighting and playing. Can't help it. It's just what they are. They're blue healers. They're Australian cattle dogs, blue healers, so they love to you. That's their bark. It's a high-pitched bark. And they're only nine months old, so they're still puppies. Oh, I've got my hands full. Let me just say that. Anyway, there's some ephemera. Or just some fussy cuts. Oh, that's a pretty background. You can cut these out, have some more ephemera. Or have some journal cards knife thrower pretty background I really like this one too oh these are so nice and there's no um, duplicates so that's really good so these are 8 by 8 sheets and you get 16 of them And as always, I'll put the description of the item up here in the right-hand corner, and I'll put the item number in the left-hand corner. That way, you know how to find these when you go on to Timu to shop. So to go along with the circus theme, I also purchased some stickers. There's 50 in here. So let's take a peek. We've got some Ada Hearts. And they're just normal stickers. They're not, um, they're not, 
they're not washi stickers. They're just normal stickers. Oh, that's cute. A bear playing drums. Clown alert. Elephant. Um, that's one thing I am glad. I notice a lot of circuses have done away with their animal acts, and I'm okay with that. Um, to see how some of them lions and tigers and elephants and stuff are treated in the circus. I'm glad they've stopped doing the animal acts. I've got a clown. A lot of clowns. I'll try to... We'll just flip through the clowns here. <laughs> um, elephant. A cat playing a... What is that? Help me. I forgot what that is. Yeah, I really like these. These are good quality stickers. Some of them are kind of creepy, so I'll just go through. <laughs> now, I've got some more stamps. Rubber stamps. So we'll go through these. I wanted a dragonfly because, you know, dragonflies are one of my favorite um, insects, I think. I think we went through this once before and I didn't know what to call them. This is one whole stamp and it'll be like a half, it'll be like a, yeah, you know what I mean. But that's really pretty. Let's stamp it. Yes, I'm just going to leave it on the plastic because why not? Oh, very pretty. Of course, I didn't think I added very much ink to it, but I think that looks very pretty. Good detail. Don't worry, I will use this. It will not go to waste. <laughs> Nothing goes to waste. And this is what I use to clean my stamps off. It gets permanent ink and everything off. It cleans your hands. Um, yeah, it's really good stuff. My husband gets this from because he works in HVAC, so he gets these for me. But you can also order them on Amazon. They're kind of pricey, but it's worth it. And then the next set of stamps, it kind of goes along with like your Victorian, vintage Victorian, whatever you want to call it. We'll just try out all these. How about that? How about that? I don't feel like getting out my stamping blocks, so we're just going to do it old school. Let's try her Lady... Lady Gazine? What's that name? Lady something. I kind of smeared it. That was that's what you get when you don't use a stamp block, but it still looks good. I really like it. Let's try the journal. Really good. I like them. I always like Timu's rubber stamps. I they're always such good quality, and I love the detail of them. I mean, I can get addicted to purchasing these just because I love the detail. And then last on the stamps, I got these little tiny ones. 
Um, I needed some smaller like numbers and stamps and stuff and I really like the looks of this set. So we are going to try this out. I did bring out my stamp block this time <laughs> so we can get a good stamp going on. And I'm dying to try this one out. This looks like it has a lot of detail on it. Okay, let's try. Is that a clown? That's a clown. That is is that a clown or a monkey on that one? Oh, it's a clown. Alright. <laughs> I didn't know this had clowns on it too, but it guess it does. Oh, because it's a circus ticket. Alrighty, moving on. Done playing for now. So, got these, what are these? Lace Wonderland. I think they're just PET stickers. Is that what these are? Yeah. These are just PET stickers. They just look like lace borders. Or lace, I guess you should say. what you get if you can see them there's different designs so there you go just get like a lace looking edge if you want Very pretty okay got me a booklet um i think this is just paper i don't remember yeah this is no these are postcards oh okay cool i forgot i got this all right so this is a postcard booklet they're double-sided you get 32 postcards in there let's take a look oh these are pretty i forgot i ordered this Oh, and on the back there's an actual postcard. Nice. They're all the same on the back. It has the same saying, may everything go well with you. And then it says, happy birthday, happy birthday is what it's stamped up there. Um, I don't know why they would stamp happy birthday, but you could easily cover that up with your own stamp. That's pretty... These are so nice. I hope you guys can see them. They're really thick, too. I mean, they feel thicker than what a postcard would feel. Of course, it's been forever since I've held a real postcard. And I'm kind of wondering, like, could you actually mail these? Do they still let you mail postcards? I don't know. If I've got any post office workers or anything, and... <laughs> it, um on the channel let me know can you still mail postcards is this something you'd be able to mail as just like a cute little note because I still do snail mail I still like to make it personal I like to write letters I like to send Christmas cards nowadays it seems like everybody always wants to send it internet but I like the feel and I like to, to think that somebody thought enough for me to go to the post office to get a stamp picked out the card and to mail it I mean I love that. I love the the personal feel you get with real mail. These are very pretty. I 
Oh, I really like that one. That one's cute. So yeah, and it's a little booklet. So if you want a postcard, you just tear it out. Oh no, I tore it. Oh well. And you can stick it in your journal or whatever. It's very nice. I forgot I had ordered that. It's always a nice surprise when I get something that I forgot that I ordered. Because I don't like check my order status. I don't know, I just never think about it because I always know it's going to be about two weeks anyway. So I just don't never check A. This next items says 30 sheet pack light golden. Don't have a clue what okay. these are. They're just um, vellum papers. Oh, those are pretty too. They're golden so you'll be able to see through them. I don't know if you can tell the color. But yeah, oh look, very pretty. I like those. Those are very nice. So yeah, I get, they're just papers, they're not stickers or anything, you get quite a few. They're four by six, and I don't know how many you get. Oh no, they're not, are they four by six? No, these aren't four by six. Okay, you get 30 sheets. Sorry guys, I don't, I don't know what I'm doing, I really don't. I'm just winging it. I get... 30 sheets and they are about four by sixes, not quite, but oh, okay. So I got more postcards, it looks like. These are very vintagey. Okay, it's called Retro. Retro Poster. What does that mean? 32 of them. Oh, these are big. Oh, okay. I know what these These are big. And I like these. Oh, see, I could look at this stuff all day long. Just look at it. And look how it's already, like, vintage and rustic. And, yeah. So, they got different size postcard or different postcards. That's what the back looks like. Looks like it's just vintage ads. <laughs> Haven't seen one of those in a while. Oh wow, 7-Up. Seven 7-Up's seven the best for when you're sick or got an upset stomach, right? Or are you a Sprite drinker? Let me know. Sprite or 7-Up? These are really nice, guys. I really... Oh, that is awesome. <clears throat> that is a... That's cool. I'm going to have to um, hoard this. You know, I have a little hoarding stash. I'll have to show you someday my little hoard stash that I don't use for anything. I just basically keep it for myself. Oh, I just noticed on this one, too. He's using SOS pads to um, scrub his white walls on his tires. <laughs> oh wow, Heineken. These are so cool to just look at and to read. She likes smooth men. <laughs> we don't want to get into that one. We don't want to go down that rabbit hole. Vermouth martini. These are so fun. I don't I don't know why, but the yeah, look, she's gardening, holding um, Budweiser in a champagne flute. <laughs> That's how you drink. That's the only way to drink Budweiser is from a champagne glass. It's 
Some of these ads were so funny back in the day. Well, I guess they're funny now, but. Yeah, I really like these. Yeah, these are cool. I'm probably going to have to get more of these. If I do, I will share them with you in like a, I don't know, YouTube short or something if you want me to. As always, guys, if there's anything that you want to you want to um, see me haul, just so you know if you should get it, let me know. Leave me a comment and let me know what you would like for me to purchase or haul. And if you want to, I would really appreciate it if you would donate to my Ko-Fi account. That will help me purchase those items. You don't have to, but that would definitely help. And I can purchase the items and show them to you before you have to, before you actually see if you want to purchase them. Any donation would be greatly appreciated. I am not monetized yet, so any little thing helps. All right, so I've got one more item I want to show you, and it's a bigger item. So give me just a second. Okay, if you remember the last, the one of the hauls I did a couple couple weeks ago, I guess it was. It, it would have been a couple hauls ago. I'll put the video up here in the card up on the screen. I got a paper cutter, and I didn't realize it was a mini paper cutter. <laughs> so I finally decided to get me a big paper cutter, and I actually did my research, and I knew this time it was going to be a big one. So this is how it came packaged. It was in this box. And this is plastic, and it's got, it doesn't have the blade on it. Okay, where's the blade? Uh, okay, let's see how we put this together. We'll put this together, together. <laughs> we'll put this together, together. All right. Oh, I think I just found the blade. Oh, yeah, that is the blade. Okay. All right, so this is nice. It sets up high. As you can see, and it's got little rubber pieces on the bottom to keep it from scooting, right? And then you got all your measurements, and it feels like they're scored, but not all of them. It does come with directions on how to put it together. They're not in English, however, so I guess we're just going to have to wing it. So here's our package that comes okay, with. Okay, so first thing we need to do, I guess, is this goes here. You can just slide it to the width of your paper. And then this goes... I guess this is just a protector. So it just goes on there like that. Okay, then you just slide your papers underneath there, I guess. If you have a lot of papers though, you're not gonna be able to slide it. It's just weird. I don't know what this is. I doubt if it stays on there. Then we've got the handle. There we go. Okay, so got the handle on. Oh Lord, we got that put together. <laughs> So let's get some papers. I got some really heavy cardstock here. And it says it can cut, I think it said 10 sheets of just regular paper. But this is real heavy cardstock, and this is five sheets of heavy cardstock. So I just want to cut these in half. Okay, it will not cut through. No. So, this real heavy cardstock, as you can see, I had to put a lot of force in it. It didn't cut all the way through, and that was 10 sheets. So, got a couple sheets out of it. So we'll go ahead and finish cutting through it. We'll see if we can get it to. I don't know about this thing. Like, I don't.
yeah, it's not doing a good job for this heavy cardstock. So let's try one. <laughs> See if one piece will do. Yeah, it does. Just can't do this real heavy cardstock. So, yeah. I don't like it. It'll serve its purpose for now. So I can get something heavier dutier. Heavier dutier. I mean, it's just a very light plastic. There's no lock on it. That's the only thing that worries me. But I don't have any kids in the house. So, I mean... I don't worry about that. So that's all I have for you today. If you guys enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. It really helps YouTube notice me just a tad bit more. And leave me a comment and let me know what your favorite item in today's haul was. And don't forget to comment and let me know what you would like for me to purchase and share with you in the future. Also, if you don't mind, I do have a Ko-Fi account. If you would like to donate, that would be so totally awesome. But you don't have to. And yeah. So I'll put all those links in the description box below. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.